People, what's going on? You guys already know who it is. Your boy Bob from Mentor Me. Feels good to be back, man. Have my birthday. I had to take a mental break, man. I had a lot going on when it comes to investing and just family, different things. Um, shout out to all of you who've been on my social media. Make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel. As you guys know, every Thursday night, I'm always giving live financial education at 9 p.m. Eastern time. Also, Tuesday night at 9 p.m. Make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel, Mentor Me. Today, we're talking about cars. Right now, we're still in a world where a lot of people love luxurious cars that they can't afford. Here's the reality. Why do people buy cars knowing that they can't afford the car? We got to really think about it. Why are we still so impressed by a car? If your credit is good, who has a hard time putting zero down if your credit is good? Anybody can drive any car as long as you have good credit. People, here's the reality where the problem starts. You're buying cars that you can't afford to maintenance. That's the problem a lot of people are having. You bought a car, it sounded good in the beginning, because why? You got the 50,000 mile power training warranty, everything's covered, then your car hit 80,000 miles. Your car hit 90,000 miles. You complaining, because you got a luxury car that has a lot of technology in it, a lot of software technology. You don't have one, a mechanic to fix it. Two, you can't afford the maintenance because the parts is just so expensive. Three, you bought it because it was cute. You bought it because it looked nice. You bought it because it was fast. You never bought it for the right reasons. You never bought it because that's what makes sense to your financial pockets. You never bought it because that's what you could afford. Some of you are buying cars that you know you can't afford and you know you can't maintenance, but you're buying it just to show off to your friends who are not paying the car payment. At the end of the day, people, the only person winning when you finance cars is the lender. Also, the person who's, who owns the car company. And so if you buy a, what, a Cadillac, if you buy a Mercedes, Mercedes is winning, not you. I get it. We got to treat ourselves. But there's a problem in this country today where a lot of grown adults are buying cars they can't afford. $1,900 a month payments. $2,500 a month payments. Knowing they can't afford the car, they can't afford the maintenance. And then when the warranty is done, now they're upset at the lender. They're upset at the dealership. They're upset except <laughs> one thing they don't like to blame themselves. They're upset at everybody else except themselves. People at the end of the day, you got to get to a point of like to understand reality. Buy things you could afford. If you can't afford it, don't drive it. Because at the end of the day, don't you realize these car companies are coming out with cars every six months. They change a headlight, change a back bumper. You will never always have the newest car. No matter how much you lease, you will always have to keep up with that motion. If that's who you're trying to become or who you're trying to be. But what you got to realize is people, buy things you could afford. If you need an A to B car, get an A to B car. Don't worry about people judging you. A lot of us have this mindset, oh, I got to have a BMW because he has a BMW. But you never put two and two together. Hold on. Probably he can afford it. Probably he can even afford maintenance. What about if he's working two, three jobs just to drive that BMW? Does it still make sense to have? Now, here's what some of you do. Go buy a car based on a brand and work two, three jobs struggling. Then get upset when these companies lay you off because you can't afford the maintenance because your warranty ran out. At the end of the day, people be smart about your life. At a certain point of your life, you got to look at life differently. Your decisions and your choices every day make a difference to your life of how you live in your future. The decisions you make today determines how you live tomorrow, 10 years from now. A lot of you are in so much debt because of emotion. You're still buying things based on emotion, not reality. The reality is you need a car, but your emotion tells you you need a Mercedes, you need a BMW, you need a Range Rover, you need a Land Rover. Do you really need it or do you want it? And the truth is, not only do you want it or need it, can you afford it? Can you afford the maintenance? Buy things you could afford and you'll see your life get easier. This is why a lot of us in this world today, we buy things that make sense. When you're mature, you don't run off emotion. You run off e reality. Reality says, hold on, that's a nice car. Reality says, I would love to have that car. But reality also says, hold on, can I afford it? Let me look at my financial situation before I make the, of course, long-term investment of five years to being in debt for a car that I know I can't afford to make this when the, run, when the warranty run out. Because these companies have been playing this for a long time. Give you 50,000 mile warranty, knowing the car gonna start giving problems at 75,000 miles. Because they know the useful life of all the parts of their car. A lot of you still haven't figured that out. Be smart about your life. Be smart about your choices. This is your boy Bobby from MentorMe.com, man. Peace, appreciate the love, man. See you guys tonight, man. Mentor me.